Hi guys, I'm Antonio and in this uh, tutorial I will show you how to create a, a new class, a menu class using the list activity. Let's start, right click in our package, go to new class and we'll name the class menu. Click finish. Here we are. Now we can, uh, we have to extend our menu class. We usually extend uh, the activities with activity super class. Now we will uh, extend with list activity super class. Control space, this one. Import list activity if you need. The list activity contains all the methods from the activity class and uh, many more. So, as uh, usually, we want the method on create from the activity class. Okay, this is from the activity class and uh, we want another method, the on list item click, who comes with uh, the list activity, on list item click, because as I told you before, I will make a menu with uh, a list of our choices. Now we need to make uh, two arrays, two string arrays, to use them uh, one for the, the name of the classes that we're gonna use, and one for the, the items that will be appears in uh, the list. So let's start string. Let's name the first class's names. This is because we we make an array, and this will be equal with all the items that we want in the array. In the zero position, we want our first uh, name of class that we're gonna use. We have uh, just one class which uh, we can use it. The class is the starting tips, so we will have exactly the same string here, starting tips. We can close it here, but let's uh, write two or three more. Let's close the brackets. Question mark. Have the second one, same way, string, menu items, array, and let's name, if you remember the starting tips, if you remember, I mean, if you uh, have seen the previous lessons, uh, the starting tips, it's a, a mini application who count uh, scores of uh, teams. So we can uh, name it uh, Team Counter. And let's put another two for the class one and class two. Let's say example one, example two. That's it. So I have two arrays before i continue you have to understand if you don't know anything about arrays uh, the first uh, item in array in, is in zero position if we if we use classes names zero we mean the first one classes name one is the second one and so on and the same with menu items menu items zero is the team counter now as we used to do in the uh, onCreate method, we we used to have uh, the set content view with ex uh, with an XML uh, layout. But uh, in this uh, activity, we'll use the set uh, list adapter. So set list adapter, and we will uh, we make uh, an array adapter for the the list adapter. We make a new array adapter because we have an array to use. So new array adapter, and we will see all the details here for the first one we need the type of uh, the array is a string as we said it before string the context is uh, for the for our class menu dot this the resource must be from Android. The resource is uh, the way that we want to um, our uh, menu appears. Android R dot layout. Let's see it better here. Layout, and we want a simple list item. It must be somewhere here. Sorry, simple list item. Simple list item. We have those, let's select the first one, simple list item, and finally, we want another parameter, which is uh, the name of uh, the, the array that we want to appear. We want the menu items to appear, so right here, menu, control space, okay, this one, menu items, and we close it, 
with a question mark control oh, we can we can see anything here let's uh, fix it with control shift f okay now it's better you can see it better so we, we set a list adapter uh, in the list adapter we create a new array adapter with strings and we set the resource with a simple list item for the array menu item so if we run the, uh, the activity now we will have we will just have a, a list uh, with all these three items appears let's try to see what we have done but first we have to go to Android manifest XML to make a new activity for the in manifest but for now let's uh, change this plus activity to menu activity so we can run it and we will fix it again later control control s to to save it let's zoom out and run it to see the result android run as android application as you know save it save the project select the emulator click ok so here is the result and that's it for this lesson in the next one we'll make uh, these items active thank you